guys, welcome back to my yoga channel. I am Kat Methan. For any of you that are new here, and for those of you that do my flows all the time, welcome back. So today we're doing another 15 minute flow. So it's just a quick fix for those of you that are time poor, or maybe this is something that you wanna add on to doing to one of my other videos. Either way, whatever it is that you're here for, just come down to take a little seat and we're gonna get right on into it super quickly. So. Find yourself a comfortable seated position. Just take a big shoulder roll back. Close off the eyes for a moment. Just take a moment to bring the attention to the breath. Not making any changes. So just know that throughout our little practice today, we're gonna to be building a little bit of heat in the body in the core area, through the legs. So just doing what feels good. Maybe finding just a little bit of power when it feels good for you, but then when it feels too much, being kind to yourself and just taking child's pose. Bringing the mind to the breath again, just focusing on the inhales and the exhales, in through the nose, out through the nose. You can take, keep the eyes closed here, sweep both arms all the way up. Take hold of the right wrist with the left hand, stretch on over to the left, opening through the right side body. Inhaling, coming through center, switch wrist, stretch over to the right side, opening through the left side body. So just noticing how that feels, being aware of how the body feels, if it's a bit of tight, coming back through center, rounding the spine, take the arms around like you're hugging a big teddy bear or a beach ball, let the head drop down. And then interlace the hands, take the hands all the way up. Lift through the chest. Try not to slouch or collapse into the lower spine. You, even though the ribs are gonna be heading out slightly, you still wanna find lift in the lower belly. And release. Taking the feet to Baddha Konasana, so soles of the feet together. Again, just being aware of how that feels on the legs. If you need to pop yourself up on a block, then by all means do. Just holding onto the ankles, lift through the chest, draw tall through the spine. And just exhale everything out through the mouth. Inhale. And let it all out through the mouth again. Last time, inhale. And we'll just come to find a little twist. Taking the left hand onto the right knee, placing the right hand behind you, twisting towards the back of the room. With each inhale, seeing if you can create a little bit more length in the spine as you exhale, a bit more depth in the twist. Inhale, coming back through center. Taking the right hand all the way over, twisting towards the left. Again, as you inhale, finding that length, as you exhale, take the twist a little deeper. And coming all the way back to the front. Take the legs out long as you work your way just down to the mat. Legs are gonna go all the way up into the air. Start to just circle the ankles. So circles going one way and then start to rotate the other way. And then you're gonna take the legs out into a bit of a straddle. Hopefully you've got a bit more room than I have against the wall. Hands are gonna go behind the head all the way up. You can take Kali Mudra with the hands, so index finger and thumbs. Take a big inhale here. As you exhale, lift the chest and the shoulders, hands come through. Inhale back. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale, hold. Really push the belly down into the mat so the lower spine is pushing down into the mat. Really connecting with the core muscles here. Maybe feeling the hip flexors as well. And release. Hug the knees into the chest. Take a little rock side to side. And then start to rock the body backwards and forwards. And then coming all the way to standing if you can without using the hands. Let's come to stand tall. Balancing on the right foot, you're going to lift up through the left foot, hands to heart center, stand tall. And slowly you're going to start to work this left leg back as you come into warrior three. So instantly tapping in to the right side glutes, really working through the right side ankle. Holding here. And we'll start to bend that right leg to about halfway and then see if you can lift it again. Bend one more time and lift. Beautiful, trying to keep the balance. Take a big step back with that left foot, come down to a low lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, interlace hands behind the head, draw the chest high. Remembering to breathe. Exhale, hands come all the way down to the mat. Shift the hips back as you draw that right foot towards you. Bringing both hips back into the body. On an inhale, working your way forwards onto that right foot. Tuck under the back foot, lift the back knee, and then start to lift the arms all the way up into our high lunge. Really here, trying to lift through the lower belly. So instead of just kind of letting the ribs flare and the collapse in the lumbar spine, we want to find this lift and also this strength through the quads and the glutes. From here, see if it feels good coming up onto the ball of the front foot. So talking about finding a little bit of power. Stay with the breath. And then seeing if you can keep the arms alongside the ears, this is just an option to challenge yourselves if you want. Seeing if you can work that body forwards, keeping a nice diagonal line all the way through the back heel, all the way through the fingers. Breathe, release the foot, release the hands down, push off the back foot, come to find a standing split. Now you're early in a practice, so your split's not going to be huge. Hello Simba. And just let that head melt down. <laughs> Simba, that's not a great place for you to sit. Everybody's staying in their standing split. Slowly start to bend both knees. Come down to a little crouch, just hovering the legs off the mat. And then as you inhale, take the legs high again. On an inhale, start to lift the chest as you drop that leg down. Come back to your warrior three. And then release, stand tall. Have a little shake out. When you're ready, grounding down through the left foot, hands to heart center, lift through the chest. Stand really nice and tall. When you're ready, taking the right leg all the way back, chest comes down, finding that nice long line through the crown of the head and the heel of the right foot. So hips are squared. Really working with that Ujjayi breath. Working with the balance. If you want a little challenge, see if you can bend that left leg. 
and come to straighten. Don't hold the breath. Bend again and straighten. Awesome. Taking a big step back. Excuse me, mister. Taking a big step back and then coming down to your low lunge, sweeping the arms high. Interlace the hands, take the hands behind the head, reach the chest all the way up. When you're ready on your next exhale, release the hands, shift the hips all the way back, drawing that hip back in towards you basically. So you're drawing this left hip back towards you, flexing the left foot. If it feels good to, coming down for a forward fold here. On your next inhale, start to move the body forwards, tuck under the back foot, come to lift all the way up into your high lunge. And then if you want it as a little challenge, coming to the ball of the left foot. Really having to focus on the balance, but knowing that the legs are working super, super hard, drawing up through the core. If it feels good, start to reach those arms forward. Arms stay by the ears. And as you exhale, place the hands and the foot all the way down. Push off off the back foot, come to a standing split. So again, this is just a shorter flow. So your split might not be huge. That's okay. Just going to where feels good, really squeezing the right glute in order to get that leg a little bit higher. On an exhale, come to bend both knees to hover down off the mat. Inhale, push all the way up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, push all the way up. Inhale as you start to lift the chest. Bring the hands to heart center. Square the hips, warrior three. Beautiful, place both hands down now. Step back to a high plank. Push out through that section between the shoulder blades so you're almost a little bit rounded here. Holding here, stay with the breath. Working on that core through plank. You're gonna to start to rock forwards a couple of times. So just the motion coming through the feet. Feeling the core as it brings you back. Coming to stillness. Exhale, come down to the knees, lowering all the way down to the mat. Inhale for a baby cobra. <sighs> Stay with the breath here as you lift the chest. Exhale, place the hands, push all the way back to a downward facing dog. Let's stretch out through the backs of the legs. So you can take a little pedal here through the feet, if that feels good. If you want to go for a little bit more power, then may I suggest adding in a few dolphin push-ups here, dog to dolphin, where you draw both elbows down and then push up. If not, you're just going to hang out here in a downward facing dog and just work on opening through the backs of the legs and lengthening through the spine, staying strong in the shoulders. When we're all ready, start to walk the hands back towards the feet. Feet are hip width apart. You're gonna take the two peace fingers around the big toes. Inhale, find length. Exhale, take those elbows out to the side as you drop the head down. Nice big forward fold. As you inhale, maybe ease away from the stretch slightly. As you exhale, find a little bit more length. 
Inhale, coming up to the fingertips. Exhale as you come all the way down to the knees. Interlace the hands behind the back, lift the chest. And as you exhale, round and push those hands away in front of you. Coming all the way up now, swinging the legs around. Take the legs all the way forwards, just shift the bottom forward. So feet are about hip width apart. Arms are out long in front of you. Slowly, super slowly making our way down to the mat. So really engaging the core here. As you work your way down, try and smile as you go. Even slower, so no one should be down there just yet. And when you get to this point where you're sort of hovering, we're just gonna inhale and lift an inch. Exhale, release. Inhale, just lift it two inches. Exhale, release all the way down to the mat. Window wipe those knees side to side. Hug the knees into the chest. Take a little rock side to side here. So by all means, come down for a Shavasana now. The rest of us, we're slowly going to rock ourselves up to seated. So Shavasana is for you. If you've got time for a Shavasana, by all means, take it. You need it. The rest of us, we're just gonna take a moment to find our grounding here. Comfortable seated position, grow tall through the crown of the head. Take a big shoulder roll back. <sighs> Take an inhale through the nose and we'll exhale it all out through the mouth. Inhale. <sighs> Bring the hands to heart center. Take a moment to dedicate your practice to somebody that love, you love, somebody that needs your power and your energy right now. Namaste. So thank you all so much for doing one of my 15 minute flows. There are so many other videos on this channel, so if that wasn't quite long enough for you, then by all means, go and try one of my other flows. I really, really hope that you enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing you back here next Sunday. So make sure you subscribe, because there are videos every Sunday and every Wednesday. So thank you for joining me, and Simba, of course, <laughs> and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.